if you keep taking the same skills, the same mindset, the same attitude in the next 10 years, when the next pandemic comes along or the next global financial crisis comes along and the next lockdowns and the next whatever, if you haven't made the change today, you're going to be in the same position again back then. To continue to grow and evolve your mindset, your skill set, everything about yourself needs to be a constant and never ending form of growth. If you're not growing, you're dying, as I say. So I think the best leaders in the world are continually improving and leading by example. It's amazing how you are still continually growing, even though you know, a lot of people would say, why do you need to do what you do, Craig? I mean, you're, you're there, you, you're, you're made. Why do you need to do all these things? What would you tell these kinds of people? Look, I'm just super passionate about what I do. Like I get up every day and go, wow, you know, I've built from, you know, uh, nothing to something. Um, I feel that I'm contributing to the planet every single day. Um, Through this pandemic, I created a a bit of a side podcast where I call it Navigating the Fog and Thriving on the Other Side. And that there is to help people understand some ideas and bring together some really interesting people in medical, in law and, and, and so on to help them navigate their way through this situation. But Thrive on the Other Side is about my original vision of helping people maximize their one shot at life. So, you know, I'm on in a situation at the moment where I'm actually getting in front of some really interesting people that are opening some interesting doors and the thrill of the chase of being on the journey, that excites me. And again, if I retire financially, probably could, uh, I I, th- I feel that a part of me is permanently dying. So, yeah, I'm always uh, excited. When I'm when I'm not excited about what I'm doing, I just won't do it. I don't have to. Yeah, makes sense. How do you continuously grow today, Craig? I mean, when I ask you, how does your day look like, and where, which points of your day do you read books, listen to podcasts, talk with your mentors? What would it be? Um, all of the above, but every day I would listen to probably because, uh, you know, the last two years I haven't been doing what I normally do. So my days are changed to what I would like them to be. I was on a incredible adventure of traveling the world 20 weeks a year, you know, Philippines one day, India, the next, uh, Africa, the day after, but my days now because of lockdown and that I probably do spend the best part of three hours, a day learning, listening to podcasts, you know, continuing to grow. I like networking, so I'm continually networking with the right type of people. Last year, I did something that I wanted to do for a long time. A mentor of mine, his name is Gerard Adams, sold his first business, you know, for $50 million before age 30. And I did some private work with him last year, and now we're really good friends. And it just wasn't working out with my schedule, his schedule, but because I was in lockdown, I said, you know what, I'm going to do that. And because I did that, I spent a lot of money doing that. I ended up doing work with Jay Shetty and Aubrey, Aubrey Marcus, which are two incredible entrepreneurs that have done amazing things. And then I built a great relationship with a guy called Brandon Collinsworth, who runs high performance at Nike and launched Nike Yoga. So you know, yeah, I love learning and, and connecting with people and having good conversations and then adding value to shows like yours. You know, I, I do get excited by doing what I do now. And we have had a lot of value already. I mean, the stuff that you shared, my gosh. Now, let's take your godlike level down a little bit. And I'm going to ask you a question like, what do you do for entertainment, Craig? I mean, do you, do you ever, you know, do something normal, human-like like the rest of us? My whole... I would call number one value and mantra in my life is the idea of freedom, the ability to do what I want, when I want, with whoever I want, without any restriction. Now, I've been in a lockdown for two years, 250 days, the most lockdown city in the world. I haven't been able to travel more than five kilometers. I've allowed to leave my house for one hour a day. I've got a curfew at nine o'clock at night. Schools have been shut for two years. Like it's, it's, 
I feel like a bird in a bird cage. So ask, ask that question two years ago. My answer to that question is experience. So I, everything I did in life was about experience. So I played in a charity basketball game in the Philippines, a wonderful experience. So I've traveled into Africa and done some amazing things there. I spent time in Russia. You know, I've traveled all through Europe. I've spent eight weeks at a time, basically living in different cities around the world. Um, so I wanted my whole entertainment is intertwined with life. You know, people used to say, Craig, you spent 20 weeks a year traveling the world. And it's a bit like, yeah, that's just my life. You know, I'm taking my young family with me. I've had the joys of staying in $3,000 a night bungalows in Bora Bora to castles on Lake Geneva to extreme poverty in India where, you know, one star accommodation doesn't even do it justice type of thing. So, um yeah, I've, I've, I've uh, been caught up in terror attacks in Turkey, cult situations in India, uh, Lebanon. I was in Lebanon the last day before the country got locked down for 30 days where all roads were blocked and there was fires everywhere. And I was having dinner on the Champs-Élysées uh, in Paris, you know, two days before where the major attack happened there a couple of years ago and you just life's a bit of a whirlwind but you know what my number one form of entertainment is living life you know that's that's it that's amazing when you said that i i could only imagine what the lockdown is doing to you oh, <laughs> is. that's why i did some work with gerard last year was he's you know does a lot of um sort of that conscious entrepreneurship and spiritual stuff so i said you know it's a good time to do some self care and really work in that space around meditation more um you know a lot of deep work and i i was probably saved myself because it is for someone like me not being able to travel more than 5 kilometers i've got a holiday house on the beach in my dream location uh 50 minute drive away i haven't been there for well over a year oh my gosh that's tragic. Craig, I don't want to take any more. Your time is so precious and I've had like, this is already platinum levels. Um, I'm so blessed to have you today. You know, a lot the lockdowns also happen here. It's pretty bad in the Philippines. And we've been in, in a stop and go situation where we thought that we're going to be stopping the total lockdowns and we can resume some businesses. And a lot of business owners resumed marketing only to have them being shut down again and the the, the second and, and proceeding shutdowns that actually makes it worse because you spent again for marketing and and hiring and then boom things just get halted again so as we close as we end this session what would be some words that you would want to give to these business owners who are not only frustrated at the government at some of their people maybe at their business, but are also in a desperate and depressing situation right now? Yeah, it's a great question. And I'll, I'll take myself back to that situation in the global financial crisis. I went 18 months where my lunch was a bread roll and salad that my wife made. It was probably worth less than one dollar. And I did that for 18 months. And during that time, I made some decisions. So the key bit of advice here is you are at a, a crossroad in your life where you are required to make some decisions. Are you going to continue to bang your head against the wall like this for however long, or are you going to make a decision to make change in your life? So for some people, it's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back on what was always inevitable. They, yeah, their business was never going to be any good anymore because of these restrictions. And the answer is already there. For some people, it could be in their job where they, don't like their boss. They don't like what money they're making. They don't like what they do on a daily basis. They're there a long period of time. The decision might be, okay, this is now 
I've made my decision that I'm going to move forward. And what I need to do there is I need to grow and evolve. I need to build my mindset. I need to build my skill set. I need to find an opportunity that will allow me to fulfill my true potential. So low cost, low risk, unlimited potential opportunity, which is what I've done in the Philippines. I used to run events in Makati for thousands and thousands of people would turn up when I would turn up in there. So budgetary wise, a low risk, low opportunity, uh, low cost opportunity could be as much as $200. And then you get a website and a product and a, you know, is, is something to help you work, you know, some business tools, et cetera. That could be the thing. But the point is, if you keep taking the same skills, the same mindset, the same attitude in the next 10 years, when the next pandemic comes along or the next global financial crisis comes along and the next lockdowns and the next whatever, if you haven't made the change today, you're going to be in the same position again back then. If I didn't make that decision back in 2008 and I had five gyms, 22 franchises, 10 years later, it's I own 10 gyms and 44 franchises, I was bankrupt this time because 250 days of retail business where gyms haven't opened, you can't keep afford paying for your equipment, your leases, your you know, insurances and that when you can't get customers into your business. So the point is you need to make a decision. Life won't bless you if you don't bless yourself. I, I think it's got to, it's, if it is to be, it is up to me. You know, the 10 two letter words that I heard in my grade 10, when I was leaving grade 10, I left home from there. And it was the principal said, if it is to be, it is up to me. Now go and spread your wings and go and make something of your life. And from that point on, I've made something of my life. That's amazing. So get off whatever it is that you're doing. It's not going to work. Innovate change you know that's the, yeah. but your business might be salvageable you might be passionate about it. i'm not saying you have to quit your business it might be something temporary and then you can soar like an eagle but you might if you're in that situation where you're going you know what even if everything opens up this is a dying industry or i'm not passionate about it or i'm not making enough money out of it or you know it doesn't give me the lifestyle that i want to live you know they're the reasons that this injunction in life should lead you into a new direction. I feel that I'm leaving into a new direction myself. Again, going to innovate and evolve. And what I say to people, what I'm building now is going to make quantum leaps of speed this time. You know, I went up in exponential. Next time it's going to be quantum leaps. For sure. And Craig, if, if people want to get in touch with you, where's the best place to do that? Yeah, simply my name, uh, Craig Schultz. So craigschultz.com. I've got lots of great tools on there. Uh, there's an ebook called your Work Life Vision Book. You can download that. And uh, it's seven areas to master to master your life. So go and fill it out, do it as an activity. I do it with all my coaching clients. I also, and I can give you a link to this as well. I created a course that I used to charge $1,000 for that during the pandemic. I've just been giving it away to people in need. So it's called Rapid Freedom Framework, which is four modules to help people speed up their freedom. Um, so I'm happy to give you that link as well. But just on the usual socials, LinkedIn, Instagram, come and say hi. Send me an email. If you send an email to Craig at CraigSchultz.com, you got value out of what I said or you read my book or do anything like that, I answer all my emails. So, yeah, I love hearing people's stories. I've got hundreds of life-changing stories of people that have read my book and I, I feel that it's a real game changer that is amazing we're all we're gonna have all of those links in the show notes just go to leadershipstack.com look for the episode with craig schultz and we will have all of his links there to make it easy for you guys to download his stuff get all of that really really important and precious resource that he has made available to you all craig thank you so much for being on the show we are better for it Absolutely. And uh, thanks for having me on. And as my book says, my brand says, you've got one shot at life, go out there and give it your best shot, whatever that is for you. Live life with passion and purpose. You know, you're in the game, go and make the most of it. Oh, hey, and since you're here, can you do me a favor? Can you hit on the subscribe button and hit the bell button and select all notifications so that whenever we have a new video, you're going to be the first one to know. Until then, keep leading. 
Starting your own brand and selling your own products, that's an uphill climb. But when you are on the top of the hill, then that hill is protecting you from competition because you got your brand going on for you if you're able to do it well.